Hello friends, in my previous video, I have already explained in detail about this NMOS inverter and also I have discussed that how and why MOSFET behaves like a voltage, voltage control resistor in the deep triad region and we have also derived the resistance formula. Now based on these two concepts, let us try to solve one numerical which is very important from the exam point of view. The question is the MOSFET in figure, see here figure of the MOSFET is given, this is the circuit which is given in the question. So what is the question that uh, the MOSFET in figure has VT that is threshold voltage for NMOS obviously because it is from the arrow, it is quite clear this is NMOS. So the VT equal to 1 volt because we know that yes, uh, threshold voltage for NMOS must be positive which is matching with the circuit also. And KN dash, KN dash is also you may know as mu n into COX, okay. Different books, different notations. Sometimes you may directly get mu n into COX, sometimes they can give or use this notation KN dash, okay. That is given by 100 microampere per volt square and lambda equal to 0. That means you no need to consider channel length modulation, okay. Now, the question is, find the required value of the W by L, that is the aspect ratio of the MOSFET. You have to determine and as well as the R, that is this resistance, this resistance value also you have to calculate. So that VI, that is input voltage is equal to VDD, that is this voltage, input voltage equal to VDD equal to plus 5 volt. And RDS, what is RDS? Yes, if you have seen my previous video, uh, anyway, I shall post the link in the description. You can check from there also if you have not seen. Otherwise, you may know that RDS is nothing but the resistance offered by the MOSFET in the deep triode region, okay, which is basically nothing but 1 by mu n into COX into W by L into VGS minus VT, right? So, RDS is given by 50 ohm and V output is also given, that is the output basically across the drain we are taking, right? So, that is which is equal to 50 millivolt. These data are given, you have to calculate W by L and R, okay? There are several approach to solve one MOSFET related numerical or BGD related numerical, but uh, I am showing one particular approach, you may choose your own method, but for all the methods, the final result should come the same. If the final result differs, then there is some problem with that method. There is some mistakes you may have done. So let us check what I am going to show you. So see, first of all, V output we know, V input we know, and VDD also we know, RDS we know. So basically without thinking anything, without much thinking itself, we can clear that the MOSFET must be in which region? Linear region. Why? Because if the MOSFET is li in linear or uh, triad region, then only we require this RDS value, right? Otherwise, basically there are three regions in part of MOSFET is turned off no issue, uh, there is no story in cutoff, then comes linear or triad region. In linear or triad region, MOSFET acts as a resistor, which is voltage controlled, which is the VGS, VGS, that is gate to source potential controls the uh, resistance offered by the MOSFET in the linear or triad region, right? And in the saturation region, MOSFET acts like, like a current source. So, as the uh, resistance value is given between drain and source, obviously, we can clearly understand that this must be in linear or uh, triad region. But anyway, I am going to show you by the mathematical approach also. We should not take any risk at any point of uh, time. Okay, so let us understand. See, see the V input. V input is 5 volt and V output is 50 millivolt. If you remember, this circuit is nothing but NMOS inverter and I explained in detail about the transfer characteristics graph, there is input versus output graph for the NMOS inverter, which looks like this. First of all, cut region comes, then directly switch to saturation, then it's linear. Generally, the trend is to uh, get confused in between this concept and normal concept. Normally, what we do, cut off, then linear, then saturation. This normal trend should be followed, right? No, basically here one capacitor is there which I have not drawn and which generally is not drawn in, uh, uh, in the other circuits also. If it is not drawn, uh, not drawn, you have to assume that there is one capacitor. Always in all the circuits, capacitor will not be drawn in the CMOS or NMOS circuit, but you have to understand that across the load, there is one capacitor. You must have to consider that capacitor while solving numericals, right? 
whether it is drawn or not drawn. So anyway, you know that the output input characteristics is like this. So from the graph itself, it is quite clear that when input reaches VDD, this is nothing but linear region, right? So see, our input is VDD is fivefold. So obviously, input reaches up to this point uh, in the graph, we can say. So obviously, this is comes under linear region if you know the operation of NMOS inverter. Suppose you, if you don't know anything, you know just simply that if VDS is greater than or equal to VGS minus VT, then saturation. Otherwise, if VDS is less than VGS minus VT, then linear. Then also by that method also you can determine whether the MOSFET is in linear or tri linear or tired or saturation region. So basically very easy. First determine what is the VD. It is drain voltage for this MOSFET is nothing but V output which is equal to given by 50 millivolt. Right. And what is the gate voltage? Gate voltage is nothing but VI. See, that was the gate we are applying input, right? So gate voltage is VI which is nothing but given as 5 volt. So this two data we know. Observe this calculation part. Understand it carefully. V output equal to V drain equal to 50 millivolt and V input equal to VG equal to 5 volt. Now VGS. See, gate is anyway in the circuit. Uh, the source is basically grounded. So VS is going to be 0. So VGS is nothing but VG. Right. So as VG is 5 volt, so VG, I'll zoom it. So VG anyhow, it is going to be 5 volt. Right. And VD is 50 millivolt. So, VDS is also going to be 50 millivolt because source is grounded. So, VDS equal to VD minus VS, which will be equal to VD because VS is equal to 0. Right. Now, see, VGS is 5 volt and VDS is 50 millivolt. But what is the value of VT for this circuit? VT is only 1 volt. So, VGS minus VT in this condition is what? VGS is 5 volt, VT is 1 volt. So, VGS minus VT is 4 volt. But whereas we have VDS as 50 millivolt. That means VGS minus VT, which is 4 volt, is much greater than the VDS, which is nothing but 50 millivolt only. Right? So, obviously, we can say that the MOSFET will be in triad region. Anyway, you go, you can find that the MOSFET will be in triad region from the graphical approach or from the mathematical approach. Okay? Fine? Now, what is the rule? You can apply several ways. What I will do? As the on resistance in between drain and source in the tire region we know, so we are going to replace this MOSFET by the on resistance. Okay, so basically I have replaced here and see the resistance symbol. This is the conventional resistance symbol, but to show that this resistance value is dependent on the applied gate potential, so I have drawn this line also. Okay, and this RTS is given by 50 ohm in the question itself, it is clear. So now the picture begins look like this. Now, very simple, V out you know, RDS you know, VDD you know, you have to determine this unknown resistance R, capital R. Very easy, apply voltage divided rule. So, V output equal to small RDS by R plus RDS into 5 volt. The 5 volt is basically VDD, right? Now, RDS is equal to 50 ohm, substitute the values and V out is given by 50 millivolt. So, 15 to 10 to the power minus 3 volt. If you now solve this uh, equation, very easily you can get the R as 4 1950 ohm or 4.95 kilo ohm. Very easy, right? So, this is how we are able to calculate this R value. Okay. Now, one more thing we have to calculate that is W by L. It is again going to be very easy. What is the approach? I am telling you one way, you can find some other way also. See, RTS on resistance 50 ohm, and we know RTS equal to nothing but 1 by mu into Cx in W by L into Vgs minus Vt. Right. So, mu into Cx that is K and S, we know. VGS we have calculated already, VT we know, and W by L we have to calculate, RDS we know. Easily we can calculate, right? So basically what is VGS minus VT? Uh, let me show you here itself. So W by L now we are calculating where RDS equal to 1 by mu n into Cx into W by L into VGS minus VT. Now just simply substitute the values. RDS as 50 ohm, 1 by mu n into Cox is given by A n dash in the question which is equal to 100 microampere per volt square which you convert into if in ampere the 10 to the power minus 6 will be multiplied. Right. And W by L will remain at it as it is because it is unknown to us and VGS that is applied gate to source potential is nothing but VG because V is equal to 0 and VG equal to V in and V in is given in the question as 5 fold. So VG is equal to 5 fold and VT also equals given in the question which is equal to 1 fold. Right. Simple, simply apply calculator, solve this, 
carefully you should not have any mistake here because this is very easy numerical you can easily score well so w by l equal to you will get 50 okay so basically we are getting w by l that is aspect ratio for this mosfet as 50 and capital r as 4.95 kilo ohm okay in this way you can solve this numericals based on the concept of nmos inverter and the voltage dependent resistor in the linear tire region which is offered by mosfet okay so you should understand each concepts very clearly for your uh, purpose i will just uh, so that it will help you i will just post the link of the nmos inverter explanation and how in the tire region mosfet acts like a voltage dependent resistor and what is the formula these two video links i am going to post in my this video description you can check from there okay so this is all for my this video thank you for watching and if this video is helping you to boosting up the concepts please like share and comment